I've always wanted to do a wild camp with a view to one of Scotland's most rugged, wild and best known mountains. And on this trip, that's exactly what I do. So join me on this adventure high into the mountains in the northwest highlands of Scotland. Hello, and on today's adventure I'm hoping to do a high camp on one of Scotland's most famous mountains, which uh, is just behind the camera here. Let me just show you where I'm going. Oh, so this is the hill, hill mountain that I'm going up. And not only is this one of the most famous mountains in Scotland, I think or I'm hoping the views that I get from the summit will be to some of the most famous, other famous and beautiful rugged mountains in the whole of Scotland. There's a wee bit of a breeze at the moment and uh, yeah, there is a bit of an Atlantic storm coming in tomorrow. Well, what a first thing tomorrow, actually, there's a few varying forecasts as to when it's going to hit. So I'm just going to have to watch uh, where I pitch my tent and keep an eye on the weather. But tonight is looking good, so yeah, let's get a bit higher up and I'll report back when I'm higher up in the hill. I headed on and round and into the quarry, and the height of the mountain that I was headed to was just under a thousand metres. And that's uh, always a bit of a trek, especially when you've got the big backpack on, but things were okay at the moment, the path was good and the weather, for the time being, was pretty benign. Good for hiking up a mountain. Well, I've come off uh, onto a wee sort of side branch path, well, it's not really a path at all, <laughs> more like an animal track, but the reason being is the path veered away from the water supply. Um, and I must say the path's been excellent, <laughs> really good. Um, all the way up, uh, really well, even from lower down the mountain, very well engineered path. And I've always said what a difference a path makes. Anyway, I'm now come, 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 can't speak. I've now <laughs> come off the path, and the reason being is um, I could have filled up with water maybe about 100, 150 metres below me, but I could see the stream and I could hear it actually further up in the quarry, and I thought I'll keep going as high as I can reasonably get before I fill up because it's going to add weight to my pack. But anyway, that's the top tip for today is uh, don't fill up until you really need to. I, I only put about a quarter to a third of the full capacity of my bladder. Um, that's all I filled it with water to keep it lighter because I knew I'd get some water up here because I did some research to find out the sort of closest and highest water source. You know, ide ideally I'd like to get one where I'm camping, but I'm going up onto a high mountain where there's ridges and not much water up there. So I thought I'd just get get this high up the mountain and fill up here. So that is what I'm going to do. Let's get this platypus in. I should also say that's uh, literally coming straight out of the ground. It's almost like a spring a couple of metres up. Um, so it should be nice and clean. Right. That's the water supply go up for tonight and tomorrow. Oh, this is going to be heavy in it. And it is. But at least because I'm filling up higher up, I don't have to bear that weight from the start. So it's always worthwhile doing just a wee bit of research to see where the nearest water supply is to your uh, intended camp spot. Right. Let's head back onto that path. Oh, right, it's over here. Let's go. So I continued up and on to the track, which took me up and over the call. And at that point, I got the view to the mountain that I was hoping to get a picture with a view to. It really was fantastic. The grey one. And this area of Torridon has so many amazing mountains. I was really, really looking forward to the day ahead and to getting a nice picture with a view. Uh, remember this... Uh this trig point. <laughs> this isn't the top. I wonder how many people have come up to here thinking it's the top and then turn back in bad weather. But anyway, behind me is the top. I don't know if you can see it. I'll shift it out of the way. And the last time I was here, it was a wee bit different. It was uh, thick snow and the views weren't quite as good. It was misty and atmospheric. Lovely. So uh, yeah, this next wee bit's a bit scrambly. So I'm going to head up there and I'll report back when I get to the summit. Right, let's go. Oh, this is a bit easier when it's not covered in a bit of foot of snow. <laughs> right, let's go. Ah, uh, here we are. The summit. Oh, 
Ah, hey, hey. And this is the summit that's uh, called Spidian Corn and Clay. And it's 993 metres. And uh, it's quite an airy perch. I seem to remember teetering on the edge here. It was all fluted up in the uh, nice snow, if memory serves me right. But what a view. Um, this is what I've come here for. The views are just stunning in all, uh, all directions. Yeah, wow. Well, right, let's get this backpack off and just have a bit of chill time before I decide what I'm going to do, where I'm going to go. Right, I've been up here for quite a while. I, I, I told you the name of the mountain, it's, um, it's on Ben A in Torridon. And it's just a wee bit, I can't decide whether to put a jack on or not, so I'm just going to put this wee layer on. Just now, this wee jumper. There we go, and the um, observant among you will notice I've got another thin layered hooded top. Now this was half the price, I got this just straight off Amazon. It was half the price of the other one that I've got. And I must admit, it's pretty good. The only thing that's different about it is it, it, there's, there's an advantage to it. It's fitted, I'm not going to show you, but it's, it fits a bit better on the body. But I think the material that they've taken off the body, they've put into the hood, because <laughs> the hood is big. It's big, but um, it's been okay. I always tend to wear my sunglasses on top of my hat, sort of holding the hood down, even with my other one, because when there's any breeze, it just blows off. Um, but it has, um, as I said, I've been coming up there with the sun at my back the whole way, and that's why I've had it up, just to protect my neck from sunburn. Yes, sunburn in Scotland, I did just say that. <laughs> anyway, it was like £20 or something, the other one cost me nearly 50 So I'm quite happy with it, it's not bad at all. But yeah, what a place, right. That way is very stony. Um, I've, I've, I've been on the mountain a few times, mainly from this direction and that direction, but never from that direction. I need to come back and do it that way. Quite fancy doing that. But there's a few green spots down here, so I'm going to head down here and hopefully get a pitch with a view. So I'll report back when I'm there. Uh, Put the tent up, hopefully. Ever find some of this. Uh, let's go. Right, just a wee status update. I've come down, in fact, I'll show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's the summit I was on up there, and I've come down. It's just all rocks. There's absolutely nowhere as of yet to pitch the tent. I do know if I keep on going, I'll probably have to go climb another couple of hundred metres. I don't know if you can make it out. There's lots of grass up there where I can pitch. But I'm hoping to get, yeah, I was just hoping to get somewhere nearer here to get the nice view of Lega. Right, we'll see, we'll push on. Let's see what we find. We might have to go right up to the top there. But uh, if that's the case, that's the case. Right, let's go and find somewhere to pitch the tent. Oh, the midges are out. Where did they come from? Ah! Oh, this might do. Small patch of green. <laughs> right, I want to set the tent up here. Uh, it might not be ideal for the morning if the wind picks up, but you know what? There's not really anywhere that shelter, so yeah, let's get this done. Time to get the tent up. Oof. I'm just getting my ground mat blown up. Although there isn't much non rocky ground, I try and do it over grass because I had, did have an instance once where I was blown up and a rock <laughs> went through the, uh, the mat and I had to repair it and all that sort of stuff. So I try and do it on any grass. There's a wee bit of heather here. So, yeah, you know what? The, the sun's come out now, which is good because. The midges are also out, but midges don't like the sun. And there's a wee breeze every now and again, but it is dying away every now and again as well. And every time that happens, the midges are out. So I've got numb lips at the moment. Anybody that goes camping 
will probably know why I've got numb lips. And it's something to do with the midges. Comments in the... <laughs> or put your comments below if you, if you know what it is. Stick it in the comments below. The reason why I've got numb lips, that is. <laughs> right. Sleeping bag, and it's just, as always, it's my summer ones, because it's the summer and it's hot. The midges are out again. The sea to summit stuff. Just made it a bit lighter coming up the hill. Which is just fine, so. Right. Gonna get some tea on now, I think. Maybe try and sit over at the edge and get a breeze, because these midges are starting to annoy me. What a lovely evening, though. It's turning into a cracker. Now this is what I call lunch with a view. So I usually bring a coffee down because I keep the, the hot water that I've been heating up my meal in. I leave it for about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to use that to have a coffee in just a wee while. But yeah, I sit here and enjoy my tea. Chicken tikka, wayfarers, my usual. Yeah. Bon appetit! I've just about finished my, my coffee. My chicken tikka was lovely. I can see a herd of deer actually up in the grass. I think I'm going to go up here. Um, just over here, there's a, the highest point on the Bene range, which is Rua Stack Moor, which is a Monroe, but I've done that before. What I've not done is there's, there's a hill over here that's called Conic Vore, and you can continue around there to another top called Silvor. I've never been to those ones and they kind of go around the top of the triple buttress. Uh, so I think I might do that. It's a lovely evening. It really is. So uh, yeah, I might just get my stuff ready and go for a wee, a wee donder up, up there. In fact, you can see a Rua stack more just probably about the middle of your frame. It just goes up. It's almost like a wee nipple. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> it does look like a wee nipple on top of the, uh, the hill. There's, there's deer I can see on the top of that hill as well. Um, they must all be coming up high to get, uh, yeah, just to get a wee bit cooler. Right, let's go for a wee donder, and I'll report back in a wee while. So I'm just coming up. Yeah, the hill. And that's conical orders over there, but look, I don't know if you can see them. The, the deer. And they spotted me now, look. Let me just zoom in. I'm not too bothered. <laughs> can you see them? Really quite close. I'm just waiting to see which way I'm going. Wow. Fantastic. It's just lovely, absolutely lovely. I'm going to be going over that way, but let's see if I can just not disturb them too much. Here's a wee top that's to you, look at that. Right. Oh wow. I'll keep you on, look at this view. Yeehaw. That's a real stack more, the other Monroe in the middle of your picture there. And, uh, wow. Over there. Is the the Monroe is up just in the cloud? Where are we? Just about there. Oh yes, look at this. This is the top of the triple buttress. See the locking down there. Ben Gerard and Bowsven. All these sorts of hills. Beautiful. Right, let's go for a wee donder around here.
Well, that's sod's law, isn't it? The uh... <laughs> clag's coming, which is an absolute, well, just a bit disappointing, really. Can't see much down there. I'm not going to go up sail four then, which is in there, there, right in the clag. Can't see it, can you? Views around here are a bit better. You can see over to uh, Legic over here. So I'm hoping this is going to clear at some point, but I think I'll head back to the tent now and have some whiskey. And I'll tell you what whiskey I've got when I, uh, yeah, when I have a sip of it, right? Oh, disappointing. Right, let's head back. It was a, dis a bit disappointing that the clag had come in, but I subsequently found out after doing a wee bit more research, there is a an ugly or bad step between Clonachvor and Sailvor, which involves a wee bit of uh, grade two scrambling, which is which is fine going up, but it can always be a bit more tricky going down. So one to bear in mind if you're heading over that way. Oh, right back at the tent. Well, that was uh, that was sods low, wasn't it? <laughs> Got up there and. The the clag came in. I'm kind of hoping there's some nice light. I don't know if you can make it out. I don't know if it's coming out in the camera, but lovely light rays coming down. It'd be nice if I got some of that. Um, it was a bit of a, I don't know, a somber place up there. Um, when I, obviously when I got there to the the summit, the clag came in, and it just felt a bit oppressive, to be honest with you. And I just sat there waiting for the uh, the mist to clear, which didn't happen. And then um, I realised I was at the top of Fusilage Gully, which um, I didn't realise was was at, at that location. To be honest with you, um, so a bit, a bit of a sombre reminder of some of the things which have happened in the mountains. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go and have some. Oh God, the midges are back! <laughs> I picked the best spot for the midges. Um, so I'm going to go and chill in the tent for a wee while. Maybe have a whiskey, and uh, yeah, I'll report back in a wee while. Right. Oh, what a fantastic evening it's turning out to be. The clouds now just dissipated and uh, I think I picked the wrong time <laughs> to head up to the, uh, the summit. I think if I was up there now I'd get some lovely views but uh, anyway, I don't have much of a, well I don't have a phone signal here at all so I've just used my Garmin thing, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called but I uh, just sent a uh, message to my wife to say that I'm uh, I'm okay. It's just a preset message which she expects me. Um, she'll she'll get from me when I'm out just to let her know that I'm uh, that I'm okay. It's quite useful. It's simple to use. It's quite a small device as well. I quite like that. Anyway, uh, look at this behind me. And that's that's the mountain that was up. That's the summit um, in the sun. There doesn't it look just fantastic now that it's uh, got some sunshine on it. It's very rocky, as you can see. It's uh, there's not many places to pitch up here, <laughs> well, unless you're wanting to pitch on rocks. And then down this way, on the other side, um, the views are just as good, in fact, probably better. This is this is the whole reason I came up here, actually, was to try and get a pitch with the view over to Lega. Uh, what a fantastic mountain. You know what, I've only done it once, I think. Um, I need to get back on there. I was going to go up there uh, on this trip, but uh, I wasn't sure if I could... Uh, if I was going to be able to find the pitch I was more confident I knew that if I went up there I'd definitely get somewhere to pitch the tent Over there I'm not quite so confident A bivvy would do I think But uh, anyway It's absolutely glorious um, Today's been It's been good It's actually been really nice uh, One of the things about uh, One of the things about YouTube is Is Well I forget <laughs> it Takes a bit of time All the setup, All the Doing bits to camera, and today I was quite lucky. I left home oh, a good few hours ahead of schedule, and it just allowed me time to relax and enjoy it. You know, not that I don't enjoy it, but I wasn't. You know, I've not been rushing about as much as um, as I have done in the past. Um, yeah, it, it does take a bit of extra time to do all these videos, and it's not just the bits about running backwards and forwards to get the camera. It's taking time to set the camera up, do bits and bobs, have a think about what you're going to do, set the camera up, what you're going to say, all that sort of jazz, all the different angles. There's 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 a wee bit to it, believe it or not. Not not a lot, <laughs> but sometimes it uh, you have to engage your brain to uh, to make sure you get the correct shots. Anyway, it's been a lovely lovely trip tonight. I'm hoping to get some shut eye. <laughs> The forecast is um, is changing. 
When I was up the top there, I had a signal by nine o'clock it's going to be heavy rain. Sunrise is at quarter past five and by about three or four o'clock the wind's going to pick up. So yeah, let's just retire to the tent. Um, I might wait. You know, if I get any nice shots, I'll put them up. Our nice time lapses, but yeah, what a lovely, lovely. Right, time to uh, time to hit the hay. Let's see what the morning brings. I'll see you in a few hours. Night night. Good morning. The alarms just gone off. It is quarter to five, and as forecast. The wind has picked up over the night. It's not too bad to snow, but it's certainly rattling the tent about at times. Anyway, let's have a look outside. Um, I've got a funny feeling. Ooh, listen to that. I've got a funny feeling there's not going to be much to see. I think you still hear me. <laughs> right, let's open up the tent, have a look. Uh. Right, <laughs> I'm just going to get up, I'm leaving another coffee, I'm just going to straight camp and get going. I want to be off the hill before this, um, the rain comes on and the winds get even higher, so yeah, let's get up and let's get going. It was pretty breezy and blowy when I got out of the tent, but you know what? The sky was absolutely lovely. There was lovely dawn skies. Just a sign of that weather front approaching. And um, I did a bit of, bit, of, bit of the camera, but forgot to turn the microphone on. So uh, yeah, tough. You just got the voiceover now. But <laughs> anyway, the long and short of it, I was still keen to get off the mountain because at this point I wasn't sure how quickly that rain was going to come in. Plus there was lots of clouds that you can't see just behind me which were threatening to engulf me. And as you'll see in a wee while, that's exactly what happened. Right, that's uh, 5.30 now. Sun came up. I've had a wee bit of light behind you there, but uh, anyway, the sun's been up. <laughs> Not that you'd know it. Um, basically there's a big cloud over the Munro I was up yesterday. And uh, can't really see much light, but I'm going to try and get down now. Because the wind is it's gusting. Not too bad at the moment, but every now and again it's coming in, so yeah, let's um, let's crack on. Get off the hill. Let's go. So I set off back up the mountain, the track took you back up to close to the summit before dropping back down and the weather as expected was was, was on the slide and yeah I was in the clag to be honest with you for most of the descent the, clo the cloud lowered and the wind picked up um, yeah it was pretty miserable but I was just glad I'd got up and enjoyed that uh, that sunrise and the, and the dawn skies before it got too damp and wet right uh, you see I've come out of the clouds up there it's not much to say really it was pretty damp and dank <laughs> but yeah I can, I've now got a view I'm down into the glen I can see the car down, oh I don't know if you can see it down there. Um, not much else to say really, I think I'm going to, uh, yeah I think I'm going to end the video here, it was a great trip. 
Um, I got what I wanted, that view over to Legac. And I knew it was going to get windy, it was quite windy this morning, but at least I've beaten the rain. Fingers crossed it doesn't come on, but I, I think um, I got a signal when I got back to the top and it's not due until 12 o'clock now, so that's um, that's reassuring. So I'm going to head, head home. First stop will be Inverness for a coffee, because I haven't had a coffee yet. And uh, yeah, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in another adventure next week. Right, let's go. A few hours later and yeah, I was justified in getting up early because that weather front hit and it chucked it down. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week.